Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. In this video, we're featuring a sweet little puppy named Capri. Uh, this is only Capri's second grooming and there was a little bit of a length of time between groomings because she was spayed. Uh, but she was two weeks late on this grooming and in just two weeks she developed some really severe mats behind her ear and right under her chin. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys how we get puppies used to getting groomed. We get that question a lot. Uh, people always ask us, how do you get the dogs to stay so still? And this is how we do it, guys, with a lot of patience. And uh, it's a lot for the puppy, especially a puppy that has mats behind their ears. It's a lot for them to accept as puppies. But in this video, we're kind of going to focus on the face and head area, show you how we do it, and show you a couple of tricks on how we camouflage some of the hair so that it really looks cute anyway, even though we have to do some shaving. So please watch this video to the end. And if you enjoy the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is Capri's only second time and you can just see what a, an adorable little puppy she is. Uh, but in between the spaying, uh, we had to wait an extra couple of weeks to get her groomed and she developed some serious mats behind her ears and her chin. So we're just going to identify where the mats are. So we're really kind of just feeling around and uh, they are pretty big. And you can see that whole area is just kind of one solid mat. And this is her right ear, so you really want to identify exactly where the mats are so that you're not cutting skin or an ear. And she had a pretty major mat right in her chin area. And we really want to try to camouflage this one. And when I say camouflage, I mean maybe leave a little hair on the front of her face so that it doesn't look like a big shaved spot. Just kind of getting her used to it, wiggling her ear. She is a puppy, guys. She's a little squirmy. Trying to get my 10 blade in a position where I can actually just get underneath that mat. And guys, this is a lot for a little puppy to go through. Uh, normally, uh, puppies won't tolerate this as well as Capri is, but you could still see she's, she's very jumpy and she basically wishes it was over. Once you find that sweet spot though, the mat usually clips right out, and there you go. And I always let them smell it, and give her a nice little scratch. So I'm trying to associate a good feeling here, guys, so it's got to feel good to her. Now this right ear is a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, because I'm right-handed, so I actually have her body tucked into my forearm here, so I'm trying to hold her still. And again, just looking for that sweet spot, and she's kind of coming around, but I'm trying to keep her still enough to, just to get that mat out. I almost got it. It's okay, Capri. She's being such a trooper. And there it is. There you go. You can see how, how tight these mats are too, that you can't even pull them apart. <laughs> what an angel. Again, just giving her a little scratch. Make her feel good. <laughs> little cookie monster Capri alright guys so this mat in the chin was a little more of a challenge and again I'm trying really hard to not clip that hair that's just right off of her bottom lip there because if we do that it's just going to be this big bare spot so I'm kind of trying to piece and 
pulled out some of the mat and there's a little more in there and you'll see what I mean later in the video a little bit more she's really hating it but I, I'm really trying to hold her still because I don't want to hurt her guys I don't want to cut her lip or have her just kind of snap at the clipper or anything like that and hurt herself so just trying to keep her still for this brief moment and there you go I got the rest of it good girl Capri we just love puppies Okay, so she had a pretty goopy mat under her left eye. Um, so I was kind of contemplating whether or not to clip it out first um, or just soften it up in the tub. But I have to clip it out anyway. And uh, again, guys, this is her second time, so I'm just getting her used to it. And to be honest with you, if you guys are not trained professional groomers, please don't attempt this, okay? Just wanted to loosen it up a little bit and get it away from her eye and I decided to stop and just soften up the rest in the tub so now we're just brushing her face out and the reason why we're brushing it out after is because uh, we would have never brushed out those mats to begin with so the rule of thumb here is uh, get all the mats out clip all the mats out and now we can brush and get the rest of, uh, of her head all brushed out and ready for the tub. And she's being such a good little girl. I'm trying my best just to position her where I can get the corners of the brush exactly where I need them to be lifting her ear and I'm getting any excess from behind that ear and under that ear because she's got a lot of overgrown hair and all of this happens in just a short two weeks guys they can really uh, get out of hand and get matted up in as little as two weeks kind of holding her uh, her left ear and flipping it over and holding it with my left hand and getting that inside part of the ear. Just trying to support her, get the chin area a little more. And that's it. What a baby. What a good girl she is. So here's a little before shot. And here's her after. So this is really her first haircut, and she did amazing. And uh, there you go, see that front hair on her on her uh, bottom lip there, we left that, so you really can't even see where the mat was, and this is behind the ears. A Little bit of a bare spot there, but uh, you really can't tell. She's a little angel. She did so good. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. Like if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.